Hey guys, welcome to another wall workout. Okay, these have been popular. So you've got a wall, you've got a floor. The, um, the difference with this workout is that it's in pretty much real time. So it's a long video. Feel free to access this when you have time to work out and um, try the moves. If, uh, if one gives you grief, then just skip it. Most of these are going to be full body, although the focus definitely uh, is a target to certain areas. So in this one, we are definitely targeting that stable outside glute. It's a great way to find your weaker links as well. So you wanna get low into that squat, as low as you can, and maintain good form. So that is your criteria. I do these in bare feet so that uh, I can feel the connection between the toes, the ankle, the knee, the hips. The inside leg slides against the wall, so keep pressure uh, from the wall into that leg. There's a hold there, maybe eight to 10 seconds, and then add some lower half pulses. And we're gonna repeat these on the other side. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, here we go. So again, the inside leg is glued to the wall. You're gonna get low into that squat. You're gonna feel the outside glute for sure, even though quad hammy are also working hard. And on that moving side leg, keep it attached to the wall. On the stable outer leg, make sure that knee doesn't roll inward. You wanna stay in good form. Push the foot against the wall, push the knee against the wall, the hip, and then you can add those lower half pulses. Oh, these are killers. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got a uh, decline mountain climber. Legs can go as high up on the wall as you can. And again, great effort here to stabilize through the shoulders, through the upper body, chest back. Your weakest link is gonna determine how many of those you're gonna do, okay? So um, feel free to skip it if your wrists give you an issue. This one here is uh, glute to bridge, and then you're adding alternating knee drives in. Core stays braced, squeeze the glutes. So, then I added a little bit more movement, a little bit more speed. Think of this as an option. You can stay slower or you can go quicker. Okay, lengthening your right side leg, your left side arm, you're gonna add a nice big reach. So we get a little bit more upper to lower body connection here, lats reaching towards that leg. Feel the glutes, feel the core. You're still going into a glute bridge, but it's a single side glute bridge. And a nice big range for the hammy and the alternating lat. So I've got a little reset in between each one. It's a great way to reset to your, your position and then go back into that glute bridge. Remember to exhale on the exertion, so no holding breath here. All right, similar move in that it's a glute bridge and we're adding a little wide squat jack and back to a glute bridge. Notice how I'm resetting each time. Then a more challenging version is to stay in that glute bridge. Again, squat jacks. The only difference is you've maintained that bridge. Pulses at the end. Yep, just to bring it home. Okay, great little core exercise here. Adding a little bit of range of motion, so you've got a reverse hip curl, and then using the momentum as you return, press against the wall, just to get a little bit more range of motion. Feel the connection as you press against the wall as well. And finish it off with a lovely, lovely quad stretch. Nice and tall. Um, I hope you did these, and I hope uh, 
that you enjoyed them. We're gonna go into the other side quad stretch. There's a lot of stretches. I mean, we could do a whole workout on uh, wall stretches, but uh, but just to finish this uh, this workout off, he, he, this this is one of my favorites. So really feel that beautiful stretch here. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks for watching and doing.